temperatures begin to rise in the area, heat safety should be on the forefront of everyone's mind. That's right. NBC 6's Yalisha Gatewood joining us now live, sharing what a local doctor says are the best ways to stay cool. It's our top story tonight. Hi, Yalisha. Yeah, good evening, Dan and Jackie. It is definitely hot out here today. I'm already starting to sweat just a little bit, and I'm sure it's hot out here for many other people that are working outside today, just like the gentleman behind me. But I spoke with a local doctor, and he shares these tips to beat the heat. And you can have brain damage. So that those are the things that we want to avoid, is to get to the level where we have heat stroke. As temperatures rise, it's important to watch out for the warning signs of heat exhaustion. Well, heat exhaustion uh, basically is where you kind of get really hot, your muscles can cramp, some of the signs are muscles can cramp, you can get heavy sweating, uh, you can feel weak or confused, you can feel dizzy or lightheaded. But what we're scared of is when we progress to heat stroke. That's when your temperature can go from 102 to 104, and you're not even sweating at that time. You can have end organ damage. You can have um, you can have shock. You can have organ damage, which is really bad. Gary Matthews, owner of Matthews Landscape and Pest, knows how important it is for his workers to stay safe and cool. A lot of our guys use the cooling towels that you can soak in ice water and then wrap around your neck. Just different things like that. Water, ice, um, you know, all of our managers this time of the year in particular, it's, you know, they're there to check on the jobs, but the first thing they do is uh, check on the guys. The number one way to stay hydrated is... You want to drink plenty of water. That's going to be your best friend. Eight to ten glasses of water uh, if you can. Um, but you want to take a little sips. You know, you don't want to just gulp the water down. Maybe every 10 to 15 minutes it's good to drink some water. Dr. Hassan says you also want to stay away from caffeinated drinks as well as alcoholic drinks. So, Dan and Jackie, I'm just going to sip on this little bit of water that I have here and send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, you're always very healthy, Alicia. We admire that. Thank you. Well, SPAR is offering another way to beat the heat. All spray grounds are open across Shreveport from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. There are seven parks in the city with splash pads.